Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another build video, and today we're going over Radiation Flag. Now, I covered this build in the past, and that was before Mayhem 4 came out. And after Mayhem 4, the old build kind of just fell apart. So this is going to be an updated build that works for Mayhem 4 and also for bossing. And honestly, it can pretty much do it all. On top of that, Gearbox did release a hotfix to buff the Gamma Burst Anoint from um, 65 to 115%. So yeah, you can get a lot out of this build now. Also, I will be releasing a game save too, so if you want to try it out for yourself, I will link it down in the description. Now, sadly, this save is only for PC because we don't have a way to convert, you know, PC to PS4 or Xbox One yet. Maybe in the future, we'll find a way to convert it, but as of right now, I have no idea how to do that. Um, that should be everything, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the build. First off, I do want to say you don't need anointed gear, but if you do have it, it is going to help quite a bit. And for the theme of the build, we're focusing on radiation weapons. I do want to point out that if an enemy has, you know, armor then you will be better off switching to a corrosive weapon. Using radiation on armor, I believe, is half the bonus, so you'll be getting 50% less damage. Besides that, this build should be able to rip through, you know, HP and shields. One major part of the build is using an elemental projector in a red suit, and so if you take radiation damage or apply it to yourself, uh, with the red suit, you will not take damage. It gives you 100% radiation resistance. And now, with the elemental projector, even though you're not taking that damage over time, you will still visually see it on your screen, and that's going to give you a 90% damage boost. That's kind of big for the build, so make sure you have that combo. Alright, now for the weapons. We focus on things that have a lot of splash, so we can apply that damage over time to ourselves. And just like the old build, we have the Devil's Foursome, that is Radiation. And so what we can do is shoot at our feet and activate our Elemental Projector. And we can also be point blank with this weapon to, you know, shoot at the enemy's feet. Yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. Next up, we have the Kipsworth, and this has, you know, pretty good damage. Also, when you kill the enemy, they can drop a Healing Circle, and you can stand in there to heal. The Protuberance. This weapon is, again, dumb. So it is going to consume a lot of ammo per shot. You can see there are 5 ammo per shot. But if you shoot it just right, you can one-shot a lot of enemies. So what you want to do is shoot this right in front of the enemy. Um, it'll hit once and then split and hit again. This thing is your mobbing and bossing weapon. Ion Cannon because Ion Cannon. Uh, this will be for your second wins if you need it. Also, you can boss with it too because it does ridiculous damage. The red suit to avoid taking your own radiation damage. Now, if you're looking for any anoint on this, I would go for either bonus radiation or action skill cooldown. For the grenade, you can use whatever you want, and it's pretty much only used as a tool. So I could throw this at the floor, and it's going to, you know, put radiation dots on me. Now, if you're looking for any extra damage out of this, go for the 25% damage after grenade thrown. A red fang with at least one point and he bites. That is the blue skill right there. And so with this class mod, enemies will not focus on me at all. Uh, instead, they're going to be focused on my pet, and I can run around and do whatever I want. So basically, you're going to spawn in your pet with Gamma Burst, and enemies will only focus on that. Like I said before, Elemental Projector for getting that 90% damage. And if anything, try to get an auto idle. Um, if you happen to get hit by a stray rocket or something, then you want to make sure you can get your HP back by getting a kill. Not for a few other options over here, the Pestilence. I did include that in the old build, so I figured I'd bring it back for this build too. It's not a bad weapon, it can deliver damage pretty fast, but it does consume a lot of ammo. Also, when the gun breaks, you do a radiation explosion, and with the red suit, it will not affect you. We have a T-door pistol, just in case you have, like, an armored target or something, you can take them out. Um, it's also really good for second wins, too. We also have a radiation one if you want to fit the theme of the build. These things will chuck for crazy damage. We have a Maggie, always a good choice for any build, and it does activate headcount pretty easily, so you can get your action skill cooldown really fast if you want to. Redistributor, really good choice for mass mobbing. With this gun, you can create chains between the enemies and do pretty good damage. Another Kipsworth with a Corrosive on it so you can take down your armor targets. The Ion Laser. Now, this gun is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and put that on. Uh, when you hold down the trigger, you're going to shoot a beam, which is going to do okay damage. But when you let go, you're going to shoot out multiple shots. And now, a cool trick you can do is uh, let go of the fire button and keep clicking right after that. What that's going to do is shoot those shotgun shots over and over. And those bullets do ridiculous damage. We have a T-Door SMG if you want to chuck those for a second wind or whatever. The Boom Sickle, just like my old build, I wanted to include it again. It shoots like a shotgun and you can splash yourself with it too. Dictator, good for any build because it shoots a lot of pellets. And it also activates your headcount skill to get your cooldown back really fast. We also have a Corrosive one in case you're fighting armored targets like the Valkyries or Wotan or whatever. The Rowan's Call, and now it's not the craziest damage for this build, but it is pretty fun to use. You basically hit critical hits and have infinite ammo and never have to reload. Trevenator, this gun is actually pretty strong, and if you're not looking to use a protuberance because it does consume a lot of ammo, the Trevenator is a lot more ammo efficient and does pretty good damage. The Shrieking Devil, and now this one's another fun one, so check this out. 
We're going to put it on and switch to the radiation. And because of the red suit, we don't actually take that damage from the Nova. Also, it will activate the elements of projector and give us a lot more damage out of this. Confidence call. And now this is kind of an overlooked weapon in this game. This weapon is awesome for bigger bosses if you hit all the pellets. Uh, for example, Wotan or the better half, you know, the flying piece. Um, or even Genevieve or Katagawa Ball. Like, this thing is pretty awesome. We also have a radiation one to fit the theme of the build. The boring gun, it's not the best, but it does do pretty decent damage against, you know, bigger targets. So, when you shoot this thing, the saw blades shoot out and kind of go everywhere. And for some of these smaller enemies, you miss a lot of shots, but for bigger enemies, you can hit all those shots. We have a flacker, ammo efficient, radiation, splash damage, fits the uh, theme of the build. The Shredda. This is pretty much only used for bossing, so if you want to consume all your ammo for massive damage, uh, this is a good choice. I would rank it a little bit faster for killing over the Ion Cannon, but, you know, the Ion Cannon's a lot easier to get. The Scourge. This is going to be your boss killer for certain bosses, and also really good for mobbing. Uh, you shoot this over a crowd of enemies, and the rockets will home in and kill them. The Lump. This is a little bit better for mobbing. You can shoot this, and it will lock onto the enemies. And after a short amount of time, these shots will split off and go for the kills. The Lyuda, really good for hitting crits or, you know, killing flying enemies. This grenade's okay too if you want to toss it at the floor to apply radiation to yourself. The Hex, also a good choice, and I've been kind of straying away from this one because it is visually polluting. And with this build, there's going to be a lot of radiation splash everywhere, so I kind of want to reduce that if I can. A Cut Purse, just in case I have to regen some ammo. Now, it doesn't happen very often, but, you know, it's just for safe measures. A Last Stand, just in case we're doing tricky bossing. For the orange tree, we have Interplanetary Stalker. So when you get a kill, you're getting more damage. Leave no trace, I have a chance to get ammo back if I hit a critical hit. And when you add this with Megabore, you can get your ammo back pretty efficiently. Second intention, just for a little more reload speed and to move down the tree. Head count, when I score a critical hit, I get cooldown, and this is pretty efficient with uh, Megabore. I don't really use this very often, but when you're getting an extra pellet on like the Lyuda or your launcher or something like that, you're pretty much going to be getting double damage. So this skill is situational, but it can help you get more damage. Big game, you're getting more effects and duration out of your hunter skills, so such as this or, you know, second intention. Uh, but the one we really care about is Frenzy. That's huge. And that's going to help quite a bit. The most dangerous game, so when you're getting kills on Mayhem 4, this is pretty much always going to be active. Uh, you will be getting a lot more damage out of this skill. Galactic Shadow, 15% more crit, always nice. And then we have Megavore for an automatic chance to hit a critical hit. And that's going to be good for headcount and leave no trace. Now we have Gamma Burst, and whenever this is active, your pet will never die. So in combination with the Red Fang class mod, enemies will only focus on your pet. Speaking of the pet, we have the Great Horn Skag, and when you combine that with the Barbaric Yop, you're getting 15% damage and 30% gun damage. As for the Augments, when Gamma Burst is active, we have 20% damage, and also we have Burst Aid for massive healing when you stand by your Gamma Burst. Since we're not invincible with the build, we gotta make sure we have some healing. As for the skills, we have a little more gun damage and action skill duration. One point in both of these to move down the tree, because these skills don't matter at all. Who rescued who for a little more healing, so when my pet does damage, I heal. And when I do damage, my pet heals. It's pretty handy. Now we have our combo here, so when our pet takes damage from He Bites, it will deflect that damage back at the enemy. And thanks to the skill He Bites, it counts as our pet doing damage. That means we'll have max stacks of Frenzy all the time for 40% more damage. Psycho Head on a Stick, I pretty much only use this for the movement speed for my pet. That's going to help distract the enemies a little bit easier. Barbaric Yop for 200% more pet damage bonuses, so that, you know, you can get your 15% and 30% here. Mutated Defenses, so when your pet is at low HP, they get crazy health regen and damage reduction. So when Gamma Burst is over, you want to make sure your pet stays alive, so that you can get your bonuses from your pet. And finally, we have Shared Spirit. So when you're low HP, that's going to transfer over to your pet. Since your pet is invulnerable during Gamma Burst, that means that you will have 50% damage reduction. And for the Green Tree, we have nothing over here except for our class mod boosting this. So when I get a kill, I get cooldown, and that's pretty good for getting Gamma Burst back. But it's not really needed because, you know, headcount takes care of that. Alright, that's it for the skill trees, so let's go ahead and show off the build. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 4, and the modifiers are neutral. Uh, so spawn the pet over there. Apply a damage over time to myself. And you can see enemies are not focused on me at all. So I can kind of just go around and do whatever I want. Alright, that guy there. Let's go ahead and do some protuberance. Very strong gun, by the way. And yeah, you can see the radiation on armor is not that great, but you can kind of beat through it if you have the right damage. And yeah, right there, Gamma Burst ran out and my pet went down. So that can happen, so be careful with that. Uh, second wins are pretty easy. We have the Ion Cannon. Awesome. And the cooldown on Gamma Burst is pretty fast, so you can see we already got it back. Alright, Militant over here, check this out. So he's focused on my pet, right? We're gonna shoot the Protuberance, and he is dead. Yep. Oh, we have two? 
think we'll be okay. Yep, got him. And now a really easy way to mob is to kind of shoot the floor with the um, Devil's Foursome, and it's pretty effortless. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So our game reverse is over, right? We're going to go ahead and pull out the Dictator and shoot this guy. And look at our cooldown right now. We already got it back. Now we can heal. And like, honestly, guys, you can use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Let's do some Sickle. Kind of a classic. Go up here, shoot this guy. Got him. Got you. So one shot. And one shot. Cool. Oh, you never died. Are you like one HP? You are. There we go. And if you guys do feel a little bit squishy, you can put on the last stand to survive better. But honestly, if you follow your pet around, you should be okay. All right, let's go take on some bosses. All right, so I do want to mention this. Just like Amara, um, it's a little bit cheesy. You can like um, Gamma vs. the Air. And you can see my thing's going to flash, my action skill. And that will count as your action skill ending, activating your annoyance. Use it if you want to. Okay, so the modifiers are neutral. Let's go ahead and jump down. And we're going to activate our Gamma Burst. Uh, apply Radiation. Grenade. Two shots of the Scourge. Then Layuda. Watch out for the ball. Not quite the complete kill, but pretty fast. And you can already see we have Gamma Burst back because of the Layuda shots. Uh, thanks to head count, I mean. Alright, a little bit more. Kind of a sloppy kill, but, you know, not every kill can be perfect. Ah, oh, we got a sickle. And a lob. Uh, so, I think you guys get the point of the build now, so go ahead and try it out for yourself. And like I said before, I will link a PC save down in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.